What man can you give me who puts any value on time? Who counts a day? Who understands that he dies daily? This is our big mistake. To think we look forward to death, most of death is already gone. Whatever time has passed is owned by death. Until we have begun to go without them, we fail to realize how unnecessary many things are. We've been using them not because we needed them, but because we had them. If you really want to escape the things that harass you, what you're needing is not to be in a different place, but to be a different person. It is not the man who has too little that is poor, but the one who hankers after more. For the only safe harbor in this life's tossing, troubled sea is to refuse to be bothered about what the future will bring and to stand ready and confident, squaring the breast to take without skulking or flinching whatever fortune hurls at us. Barley porridge or a crust of barley bread and water do not make a very cheerful diet. But nothing gives one keener pleasure than having the ability to derive pleasure, even from that. And the feeling of having arrived at something which one cannot be deprived of by any unjust stroke of fortune. I have withdrawn from affairs as well as from society. And from my own affairs in particular, I am acting on behalf of later generations. I am writing down a few things that may be of use to them. I shall show you, said Hekato, a love filter compounded without drug or herb or witch's spell. It is this, if you wish to be loved, love. The wise man, he said, lacked nothing but needed a great number of things, whereas the fool, on the other hand, needs nothing for he does not know how to use anything but lacks everything. The wise man needs hands and eyes and a great number of things that are required for the purposes of day-to-day -day life, but he lacks nothing. For lacking something implies that it is a necessity and nothing to the wise man is a necessity. Supposing they say they are happy, will their own opinions to this effect make them happy? It does not make any difference what a man says, what matters is how he feels, and not how he feels on one particular day, but how he feels at all times. Only the wise man is content with what is his. All foolishness suffers the burden of dissatisfaction with itself. Happy the man who improves other people, not merely when he is in their presence, but even when he is in their thoughts. 